Meanwhile, the most sweeping tax overhaul in decades is being blamed for an ocean of expected red ink in GovGuam coffers this year. But one island expert says there may just be a silver lining. PNC's Washington correspondent Matt Kay reports. Even as Governor Eddie Calvo in the Guam legislature struggled to find ways to halt a flood of red ink from lower individual and business tax rates, GOP policymakers in Washington and nonpartisan studies cite offsetting benefits. Longtime GOP island consultant and former interior official Fred Radawagon. Well, I'm certainly sympathetic to the government of Guam because they're not masters of their own fate because of their ties to the federal tax system, but I don't believe it's all negative uh, because of the uh, the tax cuts. Referring to a new study by the Nonpartisan Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy, Radawagon says Guam businesses and households will have more to spend. There's going to be uh, increased spending because of higher disposable incomes, both uh, in Guam and on the mainland. Uh, demand will be felt across a wide range of businesses serving both local residents and tourists. And after tax profits may well lead to higher pay for some workers. Resulting in more business investment, more sales, and more taxes paid to Gov Guam as tax rates fall, but exemptions for sales tax and mortgage interest are capped. Add to that, Radawagon says, the military buildup and down the road, the realignment of thousands of Marines to Guam, and that means even more local spending, more jobs, and more tax revenue for Guam. Matt Kay for PNC News on Capitol Hill.